welcome to a new video in Hort Americas TV. Today, we will learn about the use of supplemental lighting in tomato greenhouse. Tomato is a highly productive crop. In order to get high yields and big plants, tomato demands lots of light in comparison to other crops like lettuce, strawberry, and more. The optimum DLI for this crop is theory. We know natural light can provide high DLI to our plants. However, we need to consider different factors. First, we have weather. Cloudy days can reduce DLI level significantly. Second, we have photo period. As we know, photo period can reduce during the winter, also reducing DLI. Last, but not less important, we have our greenhouse structure, which can also affect the light levels inside, inside our growing system. In order to know how much light your crop is receiving, it's important to always track light levels inside your growing system. If we understand how to manage light inside our system, our possibilities to increase yield over our cycle will be high. Tomato is a tall crop. Therefore, it's important to maintain proper distance between plants in order to facilitate light penetration. However, even applying good density and diffuse lighting, light penetration through our plant canopy will be different at different height levels. Here is an example of DLI present in a tomato greenhouse. On the x-axis, we have the time of the year and y-axis express DLI. Check the difference on DLI between the mid-plant canopy and above-plant canopy. Natural DLI is high, however, Greenhouse structure and light penetration through canopy can affect the light levels. Can we improve results by applying supplemental lighting? The answer is yes. Depending on the DLI levels inside your growing system, you will be able to improve yield by applying artificial lighting. Previous studies done by Selena and Michelle from Purdue University demonstrated that increasing DLI from 10 to 11 units using supplemental lighting during summer and winter time can increase production about 33%. This was in a hydroponic tomato greenhouse. We also know that providing better light quality to our plants can improve production and growth in tomato. Now the question is, how can I know how much light do I need? which will be the ideal light quality for my crop? And of course, how many lamps do I need? In Hort Americas, we can guide you and provide full service in order to get the most precise information to provide the best light management inside of your greenhouse system. You can request a light plan with us. Precise information requires specific information about your growing system. So we need you to be patient and fill our form with the best information you can provide. Our light plans can provide information about the number of lamps needed inside of your system, the average light intensity at plant canopy reached by the lamps, and the hours required to reach a specific DLI, and obviously even more information. For this, we will need to know a specific information about your greenhouse. For example, the number of bys present, the by width, the truss spacing, gutter height, and overall greenhouse size. Once we get specifications on your greenhouse, we need to know some information about your crop and the greenhouse spacing inside the structure. We will ask you about your crop height, which is very important. Also, we need to know the height of the concrete pile in case it's present, the distance from the underside truss to the ground, the truss height, and the distance from the gutter to the truss. When you know how much natural light is inside your greenhouse, you can get an idea of the light intensity needed in order to achieve ideal DLI levels. We can also help you in here if needed. 
we need first to calculate average light intensity from the lamps to reach the good amount of the light needed by your crop. In North America, we offer LED lighting and high pressure sodium options. However, we highly recommend to choose a LED light source in order to keep your production more efficient. The best light option we have for a greenhouse supplemental lighting is the L1000 from Current by GE. We offer different light spectrum depending on your crop needs. For tomato, the best recommendation we offer providing the best light spectrum, intensity, and efficiency is the L1000 Purple Type R. This is a red blue fixture, which is the most efficient spectrum we have. You can also select how your lamp will be installed. We can provide different options. Information about the voltage required and shade cloth location will also be necessary. Next, we need to consider how is the floor plan of your greenhouse and how are your plants located. We will ask information about the bench length, the aisle's width, the bench height, wall to bench distance, side wall to bench distance, and bench to bench distance. All this information will provide us enough data to create your light plan. You will get from us specifications on the average light intensity from the lamps. For example, here the goal was to increase DLI by 10 units with artificial lighting. Light uniformity is very important. That is why we need to consider a lot of factors when creating a light plan. Here is an example of the lamps required for a small section in a greenhouse. We will provide the covering surface area by the lamp and the number of lamps required to provide the best light condition to your crop. Always thinking in uniformity, light management and efficiency. The best keys to get the most cost effective improvements on your greenhouse system. For a perfect crop, we need the best managed data analysis and evaluations of your system in order to make the best decisions. In Hort Americas, we give you all the tools to improve your crop performance. Hope you enjoyed this session. Please subscribe to continue learning about all the secrets to improve crop production. This was Carla Garcia, Hort Americas Technical Service. See you on our next video.